on stairs. Derek, you're talking about something that's uh, poking up all over Houston. Oh, I see what you did there, Jennifer Broom. That was awesome. By the way, did you love that nice close-up of my face just a few moments ago during your gelato segment? Sorry, couldn't get enough. Folks, that is true. There is a new trending food here in Houston. It actually originated back in Hawaii and is now poking up all over Houston. <laughs> Get it? Poking up. It's called poke. It happens to be one of my favorites. But if you haven't heard of it or you don't know where to get it, we have got you covered. Here to explain more are Charlie Chang and Jason Liao. Rhymes with meow. And uh, they are part of Pokeology in Rice Village. Hey, guys. Hey, how Hi. are you there? How are you doing? I am doing very well. In fact, I'm a fan of your restaurant. I was just at your restaurant last weekend. And essentially, what is poke? It's chopped up fish? Yeah, poke just stands for chopped up or sliced up fish. Okay. And it's kind of like a sashimi, but on a bed of rice or salad. Okay, so Jason here is going to sort of create a poke bowl for us and show us how it's done. This is actually a really simple recipe. What we're doing is a classic tuna today. Okay. So this is something anybody can make at home. So, I mean, the in ingredients are pretty simple. Like classic poke, you have your tuna, onions, green onions, sesame seeds, sesame oil, and shoyu. And then is... all of this is served on a bed of rice. Yes, right? so okay. it's deconstructed sushi. Okay. So what we have in front of you right here, these are signature bowls that we serve at our location. Uh, we're not just like any other poke shops. Uh, we are kind of different from everybody else. Uh, that's why we have the name Pokeology. We like to study into the art of poke. So what we have here is a uh, salmon Thai viche, tuna yuzu viche, and yellowtail, which is called the apple machi. So these I always are the go for the tuna, bowls. by the way. This is the one I had last weekend. It's delicious. Did you like it? Uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Why do you think Charlie Poke is, or Poke, excuse me, is becoming so popular? Because I understand there are six new Correct. Poke restaurants that are about to open in Houston, in addition to the all ones over. already open. Yeah, it's happening all over. And, it's, and I think it's because it's a very healthy way to eat. Um, you know, everybody's looking for that fit way to eat. Um, you can also replace the carbs with salad, so you can go with the no carb. So it's, it's a really good way to eat. And also, something um, we discussed last weekend, which sort of grossed me out, um, I didn't realize that a lot of these restaurants, when they're, when they're bringing in fish, like here, this is a giant hunk of tuna right here. Correct. Yes, this is actually, uh, tuna gets graded before it goes to the market. And so you have different grades of tuna that's, that's coming out. And the ones we get, it, it goes number one, number two, number three. In Hawaii, they call number three poke grade or, or uh, buffet sashimi grade. Um, we actually get, Number one tuna, this is uh, actually big eye tuna from, it's, it's sourced out of from Hawaii. So but you guys always use grade one tuna. We always use Correct. grade one. But one thing that I was doing wrong, I guess, I always assumed that if tuna had this dark red color, that meant it was fresh, fresh. but you guys explained to me that a lot of places actually freeze and dye their meat. Well, that's the product called Saku Block, and it started happening when sushi bars became very prevalent and you needed a cheap way, you know, like a cheaper way to have stuff like on hand. Can right? you slice it up for us, Jason, yeah. and show us so how? When you're talking about different colors, as you can see, this is a this is a top loin of a tuna. Um, you have different what do you call it? Ranges of color that go throughout depending on what part of fish it is. And this black part here is actually called bloodline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off the skin. So a lot of restaurants like to use the saku blocks because it's cheaper, it's easier to prep. And the saku blocks, those Correct. are the dyed yeah, those fish. Those are the dyed fish, about. yes. A saku block actually takes less work to handle because it's already blocked, ready to go. This, wow. That's you, a have, lot of fish. you have a lot of things to deal with, <laughs> right? You have your sinews, you have different parts of the fish that you can or can't use. So when you use fresh tuna, you actually have to know what you're doing, otherwise you're just like wasting the fish. And Charlie, in addition to pokeology that you guys have in Rice Village, uh, is your look, you have a new location opening as yes, well? Yes, we're actually about to open our second location by July 2017, which will be in the Heights location. We'll be on Sawyer and Edward Street. Okay, and what about for people who maybe aren't fans of sushi or just the idea of raw fish in general freaks them out? <laughs> it's okay because we have plenty of options that are non-raw. Uh, we also have uh, snow crabs that are cooked, that are, that are fully cooked, and they're also really delicious, and we can make poke bowls out of those as well. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll let Jason continue slicing up and creating a poke bowl for us. Um, again, thanks, guys. It's, it's very delicious. Are these, can I eat this? Absolutely. It's so this all isn't yours. just a prop? No, no, no. This is your, all yours. Okay. <laughs> it is so delicious, guys. I, last, again, this is my bowl, the tuna bowl. Thank you so much for stopping by.
Thank you for having us. Good luck with the new location. Thank you so much. If you guys want more info, you can check them out online at pokeology.com. Sorry, I'm speaking with my mouth open. Coming up next, we're pouring a pint of a famous Irish brew along with St. Patrick's Day food pairing. Stick around. Thank you.